tell me it's the shadow of the cloud. Man, it's the shadow of the cloud of the cloud. What is up ladies and gentlemen, this is James for with the Impossible Channel. I was going to release this video yesterday, but there were so many things coming in. There were so many emails, videos from you guys coming in that I had to hold it a bit and get it ready till today. There is some extreme weather happening all over the world. And this is at the same time a little bit scary and amazing because... A lot of people are going to say that this is normal, that this happens from time to time, that nowadays we have more access to it because of the internet and the amount of cameras that we have around. Now this might be true, I don't know, leave a comment, what do you think? But at the same time, this internet and this camera thing, you know, this... Oh it, it, at the same time, I think it may have brought us together. What you're comparing your expectation with is the real world. But you don't have access to the real world. You know, the internet and cameras, videos, having phones all the time with us, it may have brought us together. At the same time, it may be actually taking us apart. What really happens is that your brain compares the model of the world that you want to have happen, so it's desired and not expected, with the model of the world that you think is happening. They're both models. There's no direct contact with the truth. Making people feel more lonely. I don't know, leave a comment. What do you think about this? I'm gonna leave you guys with the rest of the video. This is amazing, jaw dropping some of the scenes. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you again. Technology has played a significant role in how we communicate and connect with each other. With a multitude of social networks available to us, everything from Facebook to Twitter, we should be more connected than ever. Skies over Cincinnati, Ohio.
I'm still here, folks, not gone yet. So leave a like. If you're still here, also leave a like. Let's hit 10,000 likes with this video at least. Anyways, there's something going on with this heat wave in Europe. I was taking a look and uh, for now, I've, I'm just researching the topic. But this has been amping up every year. I don't know if you agree with me, but last year it was a heat wave also. It was a big topic. And this year it seems that it's getting worse. So if you're in Europe right now, if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, leave a comment. Is it hot? Is it cold? Is it too cold? Is it too hot? What's going on? You know? However, recent studies show increased levels of loneliness. According to a major study, roughly 20% of Americans, or about 60 million people, are unhappy with their lives because of loneliness. And so, what that means, and this is what's horrible about this, is that if your model fails, it doesn't only mean that you have to adjust your expectation and change your motor activity it means you might have to bloody well retool your perceptions well that's a lot more horrifying than just having to change your motor output Ja, morgens um 11 in Deutschland, Prost Warte. Männer! Jetzt? Morgens um 11 in Deutschland, Prost Männer! Ich sitze in meinem Pool und genieße das Leben! Now this is an intriguing scene, whatever is going on in Guadalajara, this is big, I mean, people are wearing t-shirts, they're wearing normal clothing, as in summer type, but you only see ice all over, inside the houses, outside the houses, pouring around, and people are saying that this was a hailstorm that happened, and in a matter of minutes, you can see ice all over. This is amazing, folks. I believe this was never before recorded in human history. There's another thing that's really intriguing me, that is the mold. It seems that the International Space Station has mold growing inside and out. How the heck is that happening in space? Oh, hang on now. Oh, hang on now. Now this is being researched by NASA, the mode that is growing inside and out the ISS. This is really intriguing. At the same time, I do remember that maybe spores can survive space travel. Also this year, they came out and said that the Earth's atmosphere extends way further than we thought before. So the moon is basically inside Earth's atmosphere. So is the ISS. Maybe that sums it up. I don't know, leave a comment. What do you think? In Australia, there's a group of people posting what seems to be giants uncovered in a digging site. Is this 
someone, for example, faking new pictures by reposting old ones, or is this real? Leave a comment. What do you think is happening here? Don't forget to share. I'll see you again.